Your, uh, your caucus has no African American members, and there was a lot of uh, comments from African American <coughs> members in the Democratic caucus who related this to real life experiences in their own families. Do you think that they uh, are unnecessarily fearful about this, or do you think it was insincere on their part? There were some very passionate comments about this, and what could you do to reassure them that that wasn't your goal? I was a little bit embarrassed by the before you made today. The suggestion that no one is being accused of being racist, which began, but therefore we have these problems, that began the debate. Later on, it was sort of as if there was a concatenation within the Republican Party to do something racist. And I don't think that that is fair in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I'm always amused when I hear the Democrat leadership say, well, you don't have any blacks in your caucus. They beat the heck out of the last one we had in 1972 in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, I'm still mad about it. He ran in the relay with Jesse Owens at the 1936 Olympics. He was a great guy. They spent a heck of a lot of money to get rid of him. Uh, obviously, we go out and recruit. And when we do that, we try to get black uh, uh, candidates. Uh, you might ask the speaker if he had an opponent last time, what color he was. I think it's important that we not have that kind of discussion on the floor of the House. There's enough <coughs> feeling in communities black and white, about race, that we don't need to have people stand up on the floor of the House of Representatives and act as if everything that's going on is racist.